I've seen this as a home away from home because I've been in that many times. Derek's is a familiar story behind bars, raised in care. Since his teenage years, he's been in and out of prison. This is my seventh custodial sentence. I've been on remand a lot of times before that, so maybe 14, 15 times I've been in prison from the age of 16. All well, my offending has been drink related, so it's been when I've been drunk, I've been under influence. In Berlin, various programmes help prisoners work on their recovery and learn basic skills. The aim is to prepare them for life on the outside and to break a cycle of reoffending. I've been here for 10 years. I used to work in a secure unit before that and I've seen some of the young boys from the secure unit coming through the prison system as well. So it's just a constant revolving door. So it's just finding that wee bit of positivity, you know, that wee bit of potential in a prisoner. The only thing they, can te the only thing they don't teach you in this place is know how to come back. They teach everything else, but they don't teach you not to come back to prison. And I keep coming back. Hopefully not this time. For the last year, a consultation has been exploring a different approach to the sentencing of young offenders under the age of 25. The Scottish Sentencing Council say courts should take into account factors such as adverse childhood experiences and a person's maturity. It's recommending judges and sheriffs consider rehabilitation first rather than custody. The guideline does not prevent young people being sentenced to a custodial period. There will be cases where that is the only option that is available, and that's not prevented by this. But the whole focus here is in those cases where rehabilitation is a realistic prospect, that is what should be at the forefront of the sentencer's mind. The council say its decision is based on scientific evidence that shows the brain is not fully developed below the age of 25. Groups working with young offenders told MSPs earlier the proposals should be viewed as smart justice. What it should do and support is the ability to access the correct services at the correct time in the system. The more community that we can put into justice, the better, because we already understand that networks, relationships and connection are what truly changes lives, and that is true of young people, as it is more so probably than any other. Craig was given his first custodial sentence at 19. Now 28, he says a mentoring programme run by the Wise Group is helping him turn his life around after another jail term. I was 19, that was my really first offence. Um, I, I hadn't been offered any uh, alternative to custody. I'm not going to say I don't deserve to be put into prison, but it was kind of in a downward spiral before I got uh, put into prison now. A lot of people out there, it's a, it's a lifestyle, it's, a, it's a never ending circle. That, that circle can be broke. I feel as if I'm making positive steps to make that break. Victim Support Scotland say they want to see significant investment in more rehabilitation programmes. These recommendations from the Sentencing Council will go before the High Court for approval this month. Sharon Frew, STV News. <laughs>